Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video from. It's me, Doris Angel. So Royal Q uh, went through a system maintenance yesterday, and we are all supposed to migrate our Royal Q app from the old website to the new one. Okay, so the Android users, when you log into your Royal Q, tap on the home button. Then you would see the announcement tab at the top on my screen. I've just screenshot it. So you see go to account confirmation. So you tap on it. Okay. Once you tap on it, it brings you to another page. The page that it sends you to is the new website of the Royal Queue. Okay, that is the new website of the Royal Queue. So, you are going to see Start Migrating. As soon as it pops out, as soon as it pops out, the Start Migrating pops out. You need to tap on it. Sorry, this is a mistake. So, yeah, this is the right one now. So, yes. Uh, just wait, it's going to show. So yes, that's the start migration. You click on it, then it brings you it brings you to this page where Sorry about that. Uh, this is the service agreement. We are not using this. I mistakenly tapped on that. So, yeah. The user migration page pops out. Yeah, start migrating. Then you tick the read and agree. Then you change your password if you feel like. After that, you do the API binding. Now, mind you, if you have multiple APIs, you need to bind all at once. So I'm going to do my API binding on a different device and um, just paste the API key and the secret key over here once I'm done because I can't, I don't have Binance app on the same device that I'm using, the Android uh device so i'm going to quickly get this um quickly grab the api key from my email the api key and uh, how do you call it the secret key so i'll copy both keys then paste them respective respectively please when you are doing the api do not tap on unbind just do replace okay and don't forget the ip group by then you need to copy it because the old one is no longer working so you need to copy the new one restart with four seven i think the previous one had eight point something so our request for code code will be sent it's just the same way of doing the api binding i punch in the codes after i'm done I take on, I have read and agreed, then successfully bound. Then it gives me the page to tap on the next. That's what I, I just circled. So once you tap on the next, it brings you back to the migration page. I still have to take on, I've read and agreed. Then I tap on, yeah. You can see that the API is showing completed. Okay, showing completed, meaning I've successfully done it. So it gives me the go ahead to tap on the next. Okay, so start migrating. I quickly tap on start migrating. I confirm it. They said I've not changed my password. It's at risk. I still say I'm okay, don't worry. I'll change it later. So check wallet address, but it's advisable if you can change yours. So there is a new wallet address, so it's not advisable for you to continue to use the old wallet addresses that we've been using. I know some people have already saved it as a whitelist on their, uh, listen, how do you call it, 
their exchanges and also saved it. So they use it to send money directly to the app. It's no longer working. So make sure you get the right one. So I'll quickly come out of this page since that is the web version. So I can quickly switch to the app. Let me switch to the application since this is the website. So I'll quickly go back. Yeah, so this is the app. Then um, now everything is set. I go to assets to see if everything is intact there. Okay. So first of all, let's go to the trading. So my trades are okay. I can see I'm already in profits. And uh, we go back to assets. Everything is okay here. So yeah. That is it. I hope this video would help someone. It's important. It's a must for all of us to migrate. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So that's all. Bye.